Today on the channel, we're going to learn how to play Right Now by Van Halen. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to learn how to play Right Now by Van Halen. This is a great song off of For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking. This is a keyboard song, so why are we learning this? There's a lot of cool guitar parts, and I'm going to cover the guitar solo, which is a really cool, bluesy, slippery Van Halen solo that I think uh, is fun to cover and learn as a Van Halen fan. So let's take a look at this song. The song is in D minor or uh, you could consider it an F major, either one, since they're relative major and minor uh, keys. The song starts off with a D minor uh, little piece. Uh, it's like a, a D minor uh, arpeggio, so to speak, with a pedal tone over it, okay? And the band comes in with some punches, and the punches start on a B flat, and then it goes up to a D. So when we first hear the band join in with the piano and the drums and the bass, guitars, all that stuff, it's, it's B flat to a D minor. We're really not going to play the minor. We're just going to play the power chord. And then we punch again. Now live, Eddie does a lot of these sus two chords, so we're gonna we're gonna basically play the power chord. But if we bar it, it gives it that breathy sus two voicing. Adds a lot of cool texture to it. And then the very last time before it, it builds up where it goes da da da, it goes. So we go B flat to C to that D. And live, Eddie will hit a harmonic on that D, that D chord basically on the seventh fret. And then, you know, hit his whammy bar and dive down really cool. So. All right, and whammy bar down. All right, so when this song kicks in, uh, basically it goes. So that beginning part is basically D, C, B flat, and then we got this little riff. Which is G, A, G, A on the E string. Then C, D on the A string. Okay, so Sammy comes in with a verse. It takes a long time to get to this verse because this song has a super long intro. Van Halen were known for their, their great introductions. One thing that I truly love about Van Halen are their intros. Uh, just really get you in the mood for the song, right? And I think songwriting today just doesn't have that anymore and it's unfortunate. So after this long intro, Sammy starts in with his lyrics, don't wanna wait till tomorrow. So basically we're gonna go. <laughs> So what I did there was verse, this little thing, and then it does a little pre-chorus, which is B flat to C, F, G, B flat, 
Then goes D minor. B flat. C, F, G. B flat, C, A. That's the whole pre-chorus. And then he goes into right now. So what I'm doing there is I'm on F. The, the chords stay on F on the piano, but we're gonna play an A, which is the major third in an A chord. B flat, C. Rest on that B flat, then it goes back into a verse. Sometimes Eddie will do this, and you hear him do this live. He'll go. So, what I did there was I went D. And I'm on the A string, and I go five, seven, eight. So D, and then C chord. I'm going three, five, seven. B flat, one, three, five. And then we go, which is five, three, one, five, three. So once again. And then you got this little lick, which I'm just going 5-3-1 on the A, 5-3-1 on the E, then D. Before the chorus, it goes down to the A. Right now. Or, I always want to hit that A chord, the B flat. All right, so cool. All right, so before the before the um, before the uh, guitar solo, he goes back into this like the beginning, and he does this dramatic piano part. So that's F, G, B flat, C, A. Then A. And that's where we're gonna go into the guitar solo. And the guitar solo is played all in D minor, or F major, pentatonic. So let's take a look at the guitar solo. All right, the guitar solo is mostly played in this D minor pentatonic box shape that's up here. So D minor pentatonic is like this. You can play this all over the neck. It's in various positions, but this position lends itself the best, I think, for this guitar solo. There are sections where uh, Eddie's up in, up here and he, he plays a little bit down here. So he's kind of, He's kind of doing this in the solo, okay? So you kind of have to get used to some of these movements. And I'm sure Eddie punched some of this in. There's some of these, these notes, that he, he squeezes them in. You gotta really move fast and uh, practice it to get it down. Now I learned these things by ear, so uh, some of this stuff may not be 100% accurate, but it's really, really close. 
uh, I don't rely on tablatures and things. I, I really guide myself by the way that the tonality of the strings sound and where the frets are on these certain notes. They sound a certain way to me. So let's dig into this guitar solo and I'll, I'll execute this in phrases for you rather than play the, the whole thing through because it's, it's kind of hard to play without a backing track. Um, I suggest you get a backing track after you get these, all these notes down and then work on your rhythm and uh, phrasing to get the solo down perfectly. That's really the best way to get a, get a solo down is get the chord progression or just bang it out on a, on a keyboard and record that and play, that, play this over the progression. So anyway, the guitar solo is gonna start off with this. He's in the neck position. I forgot to switch my pickup. Eddie played a lot of stuff on For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge in the neck pickup. This Ernie Ball Music Man guitar was new to Eddie when For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge came out, and I think he was really jazzed about having a neck pickup for once in his life. <laughs> and it sounds so creamy and good that, um, I mean, I think the majority of the guitar solos on, on For Unlawful are neck pickup, actually. So we're going we're gonna to do this typical blues lick. Um, oh, I forgot. Before this guitar solo starts... We're, we're holding this A chord. I apologize. I jumped ahead. This A chord right here. He's going to do this thing that sounds like this. Like that. So what he's doing is he's on the G string on the second fret uh, and playing an A note. We've got the A chord. And then when he goes in for the solo, we're going to be hitting this A. We're going to do a pinch harmonic, which is by taking the pick and the edge of your thumb, and you're going to hit the note and chirp it. Now, you can get different pitches of harmonics as you do pinch harmonics in various stages across the, the middle of the guitar over the pickup. So Eddie's doing this thing where he goes... So he's kind of starting up near the, uh, the bridge pickup. Then in the middle, then closer to this pickup, then the neck. Okay, so he does that. And then he switches up to this neck pickup and he goes. So what that lick is, is I'm on the B string on the 13th fret and I bend up a whole step. And then I'm on the 10th fret on the E and the B. So then back up to the 13th and bend up to that D again so it's all right there's the very beginning of the solo then he does this thing that sounds like that's basically this little I'm on the, the 12th fret on the G string and I'm bending up a whole step and I'm gonna hit the the 10th fret on the B string so I go And I'm going. So all together we got. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to go. So he ends that phrase by ending on this D. And it sounds like he's almost playing on the, the bridge pickup. I'm going to go back to the neck pickup though. So we got. One more time. I'm going, which I'm on the A string on the third fret, and I'm sliding up quickly to the D on the fifth fret, and I'm on the D string on the third fret, and then I go down to the C on the third fret on the A string. So. Cool. And then we're going to jump way up here on the, tw on the 20th fret. So what he's doing there is he's going... This is a classic Eddie lick. So we're going...
Hard for me to explain how to do this. So we're on the 20th fret on the B string. And we're going to pull off on the, um, the uh, what is it, the uh, 15th, 18th fret. We're going to be on the 20th. Pull off on the 18th really quickly. After we bend up slightly, bend it back up. And we're going to hit with our pinky the 20th fret on the high E. So after we do this, Okay, so there's the first part of that solo. Let me play it all together. And then we're gonna do this Chuck Berry thing. We're gonna be back down to the D minor pentatonic. Our old friend right here, he goes. So what I'm doing there is I'm going, you gotta learn this Chuck Berry thing if you don't know it. If you don't know what that lick is, you're basically taking the G string, and you're gonna bend it up a whole step, and then go do a double stop on the E and the B string. So it's 12 fret on the G, and it's 10 fret on the E and the B. And that is slowly. So believe it or not, Eddie played the Chuck Berry lick just like the rest of us. So after he goes... Like that. And then we go up to the... We're doing the same lick, but we're going to play it like we're on an, on an F chord. And we're going to do it twice. So we're on the, the uh, 15th and 13th frets. 15th there and 13th on the double stop. And then we're gonna go up two frets. So the very beginning of that Chuck Berry thing is. Okay, and then he goes. Kind of sloppy there, but Eddie, Eddie kind of goes. So what I hear him doing is going slowly. Fast. So that's how that solo ends. So after we do that, And he goes slowly, and then we do this, which I'm doing there is I'm hammering on 10, 12 on the uh, G string, then 10, 13. And then 10, 13 on the high E. So what I did there as I went on the 13th fret on the high E, pull off to the 10th, and then so from that really fast lick. So you notice Eddie does repeated phrases. He's got this right there, and he goes, and he goes, and we're just connecting the dots between these notes. So after that Chuck Berry lick, after he's up here, and we build up, and then we go way up here on the 20th, So what we did there was we went 
which is we're 20th fret, bend up a step, half a step, and release to the 18th, and then take the 20th, grab it, and go. We do like semitone bends up and put some vibrato on it. So in slow motion, I'm going to do the whole solo and we'll call it a day. So it goes bridge pickup. There's a solo in right now. So if you practice this to a backing track and you do those notes, work on your rhythm and work on the phrasing and I promise you the solo will get you right there in the ballpark and sound great. Especially if you do it live. And then it goes back into the chorus. Now live, Eddie does this thing where he taps. And I'll show you this real quick. He's on the B sus2 chord. So Eddie takes, Eddie's gonna do taps on 12 frets above each one of these notes. So if we're, fret, if we're fretting this thing, and we're gonna tap up here on the 13, 15, 15, 13, 13. So. go up to the, the D shape and go back to B flat then you can go to the C then D so I want you to go practice this right now. <laughs> if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing, comment below, and as always, have a great day. Peace out.